Earlier this year, I did a video on how to prune Osteospermum, but somebody mentioned that it was hard to see. So I'm going to try to prune it now. We'll maybe get a better view of the cuts. So you can see the spent flowers here. Just have to go all the way to where the flower meets the stung, preferably above a leaf. And cut. If you cut a dead flower off right here, then you can see the stem browns anyway. So you're going to have to come in and remove the brown stem so it's not a sight for sore eyes. And there's a new bud right here. Still may get some flowers this season. Here's one about to pop open. Let's see if we can check out the seeds. These are all little seeds right here. So again, just follow the stem. You can cut above the first set of leaves like that. Or you can cut a little bit lower there to make it less obvious of a cut. Here's a better view of the full stem. You can cut above this leaf, above this leaf, or you can take it all the way down. You can pinch it. That's great, too. And now you can't even see it was there. Taking a closer look at the plant, I noticed that this stem, for some reason, didn't make it. But there are new leaves growing right there. So I'm just going to cut off the brown part all the way. and let the rest do its job. Removing these bent flowers helps it bloom more, but at the end of the season, you can let it go to seed. Here's an example of a bud that didn't make it. You can just remove that. You can try to pull it away if you'd like, um, but it's not going to flower once it's brown like that. Oh, here's another bent flower. And if you just follow the stuff, you can cut right there. You take a look under the plant, you can see there are a bunch of withered leaves, and these can just be pulled off. You can just drop them. They should be fine. If you're worried about mold or snails or slugs or something, you can remove them completely from the flower bed.